And another lovely day to you. Today we're going to try to wrap up the wings and that involves wrapping up the uh, the wheel pants as well as the belly pan and we're going to try to get this just completely wrapped up so that we can move on to something else. So let's get into it. So ignore that the uh, bench is a little bit messy. <laughs> it just sort of happens when you're building. Um, so I temporarily installed the wheel pants over the struts. And the whole reason that we're doing this is that there's these pieces of ply that go on the inside. They have to be epoxied in place. And uh, you have to roughly center the wheel pant onto the wheel. And anyway, the, once this is cured, I can finalize the wheel pants and drill the other two holes uh, for each wheel pant so additional four holes to drill and then i'll be able to screw those in for good and then set the flat spots on the uh, shafts for the the uh, for the axles as well as the let's see where are they uh right here i get some flat spots on these for when i tighten down the axles onto them. So let's move on to something else. So, uh, made a holy mess, <laughs> holy mess in the shop. Uh, just uh, trying to get the little passage down for the uh, belly pan to fit on. Uh, reason being is these come out of molds and they just paint them. They don't do a final trim or anything like that. So just plan to get messy, wear a respirator, etc., etc. So um, I am gonna move back on to the. Uh, uh, wheel pants they're called wheel pants got to remember that wheel pants will be going back on and uh, then I'll move on to finalizing the belly pan okay
All right, so we've got the landing gear with the landing gear covers, the wheel pants, whatever you want to call them, they're on. Okay, so I also put the belly pan on. Uh, the the uh, epoxy is still curing, but I got a nice flush and even finish on the lips. So I think this is gonna turn out great. It's gonna look sharp. Uh, there's a little bit of a bump here, but again, that's a little bit of sizing. Uh, I'm not too, too terribly worried about it, um, but I think overall, I'm very pleased. So, uh, what's next? Well, what's next is probably going to be, that's right, I'm probably gonna put on the motor next. Uh, it's what's next in the uh, instructions and at that point, I will uh, I will not go ahead and ooh I will not go ahead and do the dummy radial until I finalize my battery tray. So the battery tray is not going to be stock, obviously, because there is no stock battery tray. Um, but what we'll do is we'll move on to the internals after the um, after the motor is installed on the firewall. And from there, what I'm gonna do is I'll probably rig up some sort of ply box that is going to permanently affix or bolt or somehow attach to the back side of the firewall. And we'll keep the batteries as forward possible, as forward as possible. Blah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so I think for now, we're gonna call it quits. We're gonna clean up the shop a little bit because we've got some tools spread around everywhere that. Uh, just needs a little tidying up before I proceed any further. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, we'll continue working on this flying work of art later.